Hey, welcome back to another gun review, guys. It's Mikey P. Also known as Moikey P. That's how they say it up in Canada and upstate New York. Um, while playing a... Was it the Nightfall? Yes. At the, after we kill the Undying Mind, you'll see me pick up this weapon. I have a uh, funny video there. It's not that funny. The title is um, How to Beat the Undying Mind or the Nightfall Like a, like a Man with No Cheese. <laughs> um... Just because, I mean, it's whatever. Uh, it's just a joke. But, oh, I should be putting in stuff that I want to rank up, shouldn't I not? Yeah, we've been going with my helmet. Look at the size of my stuff now. I should... I need a second thing so I can infuse those. But, I got the Imigo... I'd like to look that up, actually. It's the Imigo Loop. Um, it's Once Mighty Wings. Now, Dewey and Fragile and New. As again, the silken threads encased its... Not sure. Um, rate of fire, standard. Impact, large. Range, above average to decent, I think. I know the Fatebringer's always been the biggest. Um, this is equal to my Ace of Spades, as you'll see as far as range. I don't know why my Ace of Spades came in at 280, but it did. Um, maybe they all do. Uh, it's it's identical in impact, rate of fire, impact, range, stability, reload, magazine size. Exactly the same. I did infuse a weapon into my Imigo loop. How many, you know, uh, of the same Soros loop, uh, you know what I'm saying. Uh, these things, the Soros disses and the auto rifles can you carry. So, um... Yeah, I mean, it just dropped. I think I've seen a, a video of someone getting this thing with with uh, Firefly, which they called it the new uh, the new uh, Fatebringer. I did not. Um, I got an interesting perk though, which I pointed out before when I was doing the um, the uh, Skyburner security sequence. This weapon deals bonus damage against Cabal Centaurians. Interesting, huh? Um, Quick draw. I've been playing with all of these, but why take away the stability? You can see there's a barely noticeable drop in impact and range. Um, and I don't really do anything. I don't really notice much feel difference. If it's a heavy feeling gun, though, it is heavy. Readying this weapon grants a brief period of bonus accuracy. You know, I, I never really noticed the hot swap. I don't even know it's there sometimes. But I'll probably go with Hammer Forge because the range drop off is noticeable on weapons like this. If you get a little further away, you can notice them almost not even doing anything. Um, you got a much better range with uh, the reinforced barrel. Now, I might even probably, well, you know, we'll play around. I'll probably go with the, the, the largest range, and that's a fantastic perk. Stability on a hand cannon, I mean, does it matter, really? I don't know. It really just depends on how much you're, how fast you're going to be popping away the shots. But it's, you know, stability is usually pretty manageable for me on a hand cannon. I don't usually have much problems with that. You know, if I come about, if I'm doing a Cabal mission, uh, you know, maybe I'll put on the Cabal Centurion perk. And then you got to reduce the cooldown of your grade, which you can never beat that. Especially when you're doing any kind of group, group, uh, event. Uh, you constantly have your grenade, and that's a fantastic perk. So let's give a little show of, uh, the Imigo Loop. It's a hand cannon, ladies and gentlemen. There's not much to it. Besides it being a hand cannon, it feels and sounds exactly like the Fatebringer. It is not the Fatebringer, <laughs> but it feels and looks. It's a it's a silvery blue gray, um, but it's got the feel of a Fatebringer exactly. Uh, it just doesn't. I did not luck out and get the Firefly perk on this one, but you could see uh, it's just a standard hand cannon. It does work. They all do. Uh, it does a lot of good work. So let's see. We'll continue on. And that's it. I just figured I'd show it to you. Um, maybe I'll see if it does any difference. I'll, I'll, I'll pull up the couple of hand cannons and I'll see about Val Centaurians and if, um, you know, how much difference it makes. I don't know. I can tell you this, though. If you don't headshot enemies, then they don't die. If you body shot with hand cannons, you shoot shooting forever. So you best make uh, headshots. But look how she's backing away. The range drop off. I'm not even barely hitting her. That would have been two shots, for, you know, from that far. I figured with this hand cannon, it's about 50 yards, which you know, for you guys in the uh, UK and other places, that's 50 meters. Same thing. Um, 
And, you know, I just looked it up quick while I had the video. In biology, the imago is the last stage an insect attains during its metamorphosis. Its process of growth and development, it is also called the imaginal state. The stage in which the insect attains maturity. It follows the final agdysis of immature instars. Okay. In the member of the emetobola or hemi <laughs> hemi metabola, in which metamorphosis is incomplete, the final ecdysis follows the last immature or nymphal stage. In members of the holo metabola, in which there is a pupal stage, blah. Prolonged period of maturation. So, imago is the only stage during which the insect is sexually mature, and if it is a winged species, has functional wings. The imago often is referred to as the adult stage. Hence the the term "once mighty wings, now dewy and fragile and new." As again, the silken threads encased its. Now you know this. All we're all looking for secrets. Maybe some of these weapons are needed to infuse into other weapons to become mature weapons in which case you know you you know we had the pocket infinity everyone's saying oh the pocket infinity is the uh is, has something to do with the um the sleeper stimulant you know who knows oh maybe it does maybe it doesn't maybe it does nothing there's nobody here in the court of art that's what i came to do um looks like some people are running over this way maybe hopefully um, but, you know, that's an interesting concept, and I think it might be a valid one, that you would need one kind of weapon in order to, you know, why would the infusing, you know, you can make a lot of hay with an infuse, infusion process. Perhaps that is a legit thing, that the, you'd be infusing one weapon into another to create a super weapon. So, you know, hold on to things like this that s stimulate the, your curiosity, and, uh, Interesting enough, we'll find out sooner or later, I'm sure. All right, guys, take care. Hopefully, hit the like button. I wish somebody was here playing um, the Court of Oryx, but there isn't. So, all right, take care, guys.